I mean, do I really have to do it? Oh! <laughs> All right. How's it going? And I don't want to hear anything about my hair because I've wanted to grow my hair long all my life and could never seem to do it. And so I'm doing it. I know some people don't like it. They don't agree with long hair. But it's like that lyric. I think it's the song Signs. It says, um, and the sign says, long haired freaky people need not apply. So I tucked my hair up under my hat and I went in to ask him why. And he said, you look like a respectable do, dude. I think you'll do. So I took off my hat and I said, imagine that. Me working for you. That's the song Signs. I forget who sings it, but you can look it up. So I just, I'm tired of hiding it. Like I usually tie it back and, you know, Every, to each his own, okay? Anyway, um, sorry I spent the first three minutes of the video talking about that, but, you know, people have their opinions, and I'm just letting you know mine first. Um, I'm exhausted. My wife hurt her back four days ago, just bending over, pick something up. You know how that happens. And, you know, I've been having to pick up extra slack around here, Excuse me. And, um, you know, walk around, get groceries and whatnot. I don't drive. So, you know, it's just been, I barely have enough time to get things done as it is. So that's the deal. So I don't have anything like super exciting for this video, but I thought I would just, uh, you know, make it and we'll just talk. Um, good questions last week. Um, and uh, I hope you guys were satisfied with that, with the answers. I'm not always right, but I do my best. Um, I haven't been in the 17 Brew Crew lately, the forum, obviously, because I, I just told you, but I will definitely get in there. I have emails in my CraigTube mail account that I have not addressed yet. I mean, I'm just, I have to say this stuff because I need to, you know, people need to know. So I will, I will pick up you know, this has been a hard week for me. So I'll pick those things up as soon as I can. Um, this weekend, absolutely I will. And we'll get we'll get things set up. Some people want to send some beers. So, you know, I'm all for that. <laughs> um, what else? Um, I'm about to go back and make a, a batch of beer just after this video while, it's, while this is rendering. Um, it's just going to be a simple pre-hopped, again, time restraints. I'm not going to add anything to it. No hops no, or, you know, nothing like that. No grains. Got to keep that pipeline flowing. I ain't going to go out and spend my hard earned money buying freaking beer around here. It's so expensive. Um, and I just, I was going to, the I told you before, the Cooper's kits are going up in price around here. So they're going to be like $24 for a can. And I thought, well, I ain't paying that. So I decided to buy the, um, the the Brew Canada beer kits. I should have brought one down, but well, I guess I've got one somewhere. I don't know where I put them. Anyway, and um, but now the Brew Canada kits, I found out they're they're being discontinued. So it looks like I'm up Sheet Creek without a ba without a paddle. I'm screwed. I have to pay those prices. Um, I did talk to my homebrew supplier and uh, Complete Home Brewing. I talked to somebody there. They wrote it down, seeing if we could maybe get some Muntins kits. I don't know if Muntins makes pre-hopped kits, do they? Um, so we'll see if they can come up with that. Um, like I said, I suggested it to them, and they did. They wrote it down for the, the owner of the store to check out. But if worse comes to worse, I guess I'll have to buy the damn, you know, pay the price for the Coopers. I mean, I, yeah, I could I could do all grain every single week and then probably have a divorce. So, you know, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't, but you know what I'm saying. It's very time consuming and I just don't have the time to do that every single time I brew beer. 
And uh, I have an extra, an extra person in our house now that's enjoying a few of these. My son, who has acquired a taste for homebrew, loves it. He absolutely loves it. Even the, even the simple stuff. Yep, he's got his own beer glass and everything. So I'm brewing like crazy. <laughs> Between the two of us, we can, we can bottom, bottom out a keg in five days, you know. So I talked to a friend of mine about the yeast experiment we've been sort of talking about a bit. And I said I was going to put that one to bed, but hey, uh, you know, it's brewer related. So let's touch on it a bit. He says he's up to his like 20th go round with the same yeast and he's loving, loving the beer. So, yeah. Um, he also mentioned that um, something kind of interesting. Now, where he lives, it's quite warm right now. And, or it has been, it has been, had been quite warm. And so his brewing temperatures, you know, he doesn't have a, a, a chamber for, for kept temperature control. So he's just been trying to use his recycled yeast and try and get it used to warmer temperatures. And he says that now this is, you know, I don't want to put I don't want to mention who it is because <laughs> this could be uh, it could ruin him if he if, you know, because people have this idea that you know if you and it's it's true that if you brew beer at too high a temperature um you'll get off flavors and esters and things like that now it you know obviously different yeast strains have different brewing preferred brewing temperatures and if you're reusing your yeast and every time you brew a batch of beer you somehow raise the temperature a degree and you you can do this several ways i mean it, it, it's not you know you can't be very accurate with it but um, i use a brew belt a brew belt that i use only raises the temperature a couple of degrees so i'm brewing at approximately 72 degrees fahrenheit so if you need to convert that to celsius it's probably about 21 i guess uh, or 20 or 20.6 or something like that um, what I thought, you know, it, it, it takes about eight, nine days to get a batch. And with the way things are going on around here right now, I, sometimes I run out of beer. So what I'm going to try and, you know, I know there's, I know there's people out there that are going to, they're going to scoff at this, but next time I brew a batch, I'm going to put two heat belts on. And I'm going to try to raise the temperature a couple of degrees and see if the yeast, because I've been brewing it at 72 and I'm on my 17, 16th, 16, 15th go around, I think, something like that at 72 degrees. So this yeast has adapted itself. It's had lots of time to adapt itself to that temperature. So what I thought was if I raise it a couple of degrees, I wouldn't do this for a brew competition or if I'm brewing an all grain or something like that where I really want, you know, the best quality beer. Um, and I know what people say, you know, you owe it to yourself to brew the best beer you can, you know. Well, this is what I'm trying to do. With the time and, you know, funds that I have, yeah, I, I'm trying to do that. If I raise the temperature a couple of degrees, what will happen? Well, first of all, what will happen is the fermentation will happen quicker. And this goes back to the days where I used to brew you know, 20 some five year years ago uh, in an apartment with no air conditioning in the middle of the deadest dead sun uh, de in the middle of the I was going to say the dead winter. No, middle of the summer, you know, hot, hot summer days. And I had no way of knowing what the hell was going on. It was 19, you know, 93. How the hell was I supposed? There was no Internet. And I was brewing beer in three days. I thought, hey, this is great, three days, you know? But I also wasn't using proper sanitizing methods. And the beer tasted like crap. It was, I drank it, but it was just a, it was a poor man's, you know, we didn't have a lot of money. It was a poor man's drink. I put ice in it sometimes to help it. Uh, beer and Clamato juice. There's a good drink. Try that one. 
half and half. So anyway, I'm going to try this. I'm going to um, brew a batch after I'm finished this, and I'm going to put an extra heat belt on and see what happens. If the beer turns out kind of crappy, well, you know, I'll drink it, but you know, at least I'll know what happens. And but I have a feeling that the yeast won't care. That they won't mind the extra couple of degrees. And I might be able to brew a batch of beer in seven days. Yep. All the you know beer files, like this, you know, the term audiophile, you know, these people that spend thirty five thousand dollars on a turntable and all that stuff and a thousand dollars on a piece of wire for their speaker. Yeah. Um you know, they're going to say, I'm nuts. And they're probably not going to believe me when I test the beer and say, if I say that it tastes pretty good. I'm just going to do this experiment and I'm, you know, I'm just going to do it. And I will let you know what I think about it. I'm not trying to lead people down a path of trying to cut corners and make beer as fast as you can and, you know, things like that. But I just want to make, I want to do this experiment just to see for myself what actually happens. And I will be honest and let you know, I will not lie about this. Because if other people try it and they get shitty beer, then it's on me, right? So why would I fabricate something? So we'll see what happens. Probably by next week, because I'm going to go back there and do it right now as soon as I'm done this. Probably next week I will have something, a product that I can, I can taste. And I will brew something that I'm familiar with, which is a, it's going to be a Cooper's English Bitter, I believe. Um, it's the last can of Cooper's English Bitter I, I've got. It's kicking around here. And I will, I will brew that the same way I always do it. And we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a whirl. All right. So that's what's going on here. That's what I'm going to try to, to do. You know, you know, there is a lot of, look, okay, I'm just trying to get to the, I'm just trying to get to the truth of things. If you can reuse yeast several times in a row and adapt it to your conditions, let's say you live in Australia and it's blistering hot in the summer. And I've heard lots of people say, well, I can't, I can't make beer. I, I can't, I can't talk Australian, but you know, they can't, they can't make beer in the summer because it's too bloody hot. Well, what if they started making beer in the late winter, early spring and started reusing their yeast? And as the temperature slowly rises, maybe the yeast will adapt and they could get some decent beer out in the hot summer months. I don't see why this would be a problem to try this experiment. And I'll tell you what it happens. All right. All right. Cheers, 17. I can't think of much else to say. Um, check out my live broadcast, vonlive.tv slash craigtube. The links are all down below, so I'm not going to spew them all off. Um, I have other channels that I post on as well, YouTube, but geez. Uh, once again, I've been I've been just busy as all get out. So um, you know I have to prioritize my time. But um, I'm imagining that once my wife gets back into swing of things, that things will pick up. And so check out the links down below. And if you're oh I do have a photograph. I do have a photograph. Let's put let's let's look at this dude. I'll put his name a name on the bottom of the screen. Uh, thank you so much. Looks awesome. Very good quality shirts there. Very good quality shirts, I might say. So um, if, you've, if you've sent me a video, or sorry, a, um, a photograph of yourself wearing one of my shirts and I haven't put it on YouTube, I haven't put it on, the, on, the, on here, please resend it at craigtubemail at gmail.com. Don't use Facebook. Don't use anything else because I won't be able to organize it and I will, I'll miss it. And I will get it on here. I'll put it on one of these videos um, for you, just for fun, just to show, just to show off. If you want to show off, 
and I will do we'll do that for you. All right. All right. I'm going to get out of here. I got stuff to do. I got to get a little bit of sleep before my cast. If I cast, that's a if I don't know if I'm going to do it, but we'll see. And I will be talking to you guys real soon. I have more videos coming up, as you know, and as time permits, I really appreciate your support and, you know, watching all my older stuff. Um, and I, I have the feeling that I need to, you know, get some other things going on down here in the dungeon. I do have a Craig's Dungeon video planned, but this week would not permit me to do that. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Be safe. Keep those fermenters rocking and those airlocks bubbling. And uh, we'll be back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe and share. Take care, guys. Cheers.